Temperatures, of course, dipping again by tomorrow morning. Meteorologist Matt Daniel joins us now with a forecast on those impacts for the overnight and more on the possibility of foggy weather. Well, we're talking about tomorrow and we've been giving you that first alert for perhaps some freezing temperatures. So what do you need to wear as you're planning out your day tomorrow morning? Well, we could be right around that freezing point. So good idea to grab the jeans, a long sleeve shirt and a jacket that can keep you warm tomorrow. But the good thing, we should see some sunshine. So make sure you grab those sunglasses and a hat as well as we go into Tuesday morning with those temperatures in the 30s. I do want to give you a first alert, though. There is a chance we could see some patchy fog develop as we go into the overnight hours. Some of the models are showing it mainly in East Alabama and most likely it's going to be near bodies of water. We've had some warm air over the past week and now we're looking at that cold air and light winds and sometimes you can see fog form during the morning hours. So we're going to be watching that for you very closely, but of course by 9 and 10, if there's any fog, it should dissipate. But this fog is looks to be what we call radiation fog. So daytime heat is leaving the ground and uh, that cools us off, and especially when you have a clear night with light winds. That's when we see some of our coldest air or coldest temperatures. Now it's all about the moisture. There could be a thin layer of moisture underneath that dry air that's moving in and that rising air from the surface passes quickly through that moist layer. And then of course uh, it cools and you got that moist layer that doesn't absorb as much heat and the air near the surface actually cools quicker and that can cause condensation and fog with moisture and sometimes you'll see that fog form, especially in your bodies of water. If you got a lot of cold air in place and the water's a little bit warmer, the temperature differences can create some patchy fog. So just be monitoring that. Of course, tune in to Good Day Alabama tomorrow morning. If there's any fog, we'll be here. Destiny will have those reports in her traffic updates. But just a reminder, uh, download the WBRC First Alert weather app. If you see some fog or just a gorgeous sunset sunrise, We'd love to see your photos. Just submit it and let us know where you're at and your name so we can show it right here on Extra and on uh, Good Day in the morning as well.